hear this. Remember about 16 years ago when we first met? We saw each other at St. George during the Greek Easter Midnight Mass. I remember thinking you were cute, so I winked. The next day I logged on to MSN and there was a friend's request. Little underscore kazoo 89 at hotmail.com. And one day on New Year's Eve, you wanted to kiss me. I remember thinking I was probably not the boy that you should kiss first. To be honest, I didn't know why I felt that way. But I did. See, something inside me knew that this chapter and that our future had plans for us when we were much more mature and experienced with life. How glad I am that I listened to my gut that night and that that brought us where we are today. As time passed, our paths continued to cross and our feelings for each other never went away. We would both go and date other people to only learn how to eventually treat each other when the time was right. Fast forward to November 2015, we both had just come out of a relationship. You sent me a message and I replied, let's give this a shot. To be honest, now that I think about that, your message had nothing to do with us getting together. Two years passed and you turned from my girlfriend to my fiance. Man, I was so proud to call you my fiance. So lucky to say I'm reminded of this feeling daily, but in particular, more so on one of our final runs. Cliche, I know, but hear me. I remember thinking how proud I was of your fitness journey so far. You started off not being able to run 500 meters, and that day you hit three kilometers. But it wasn't the distance; it was the way you tackled the, the whole journey. I then thought this is the same determination that helped you co-found Sabo and has made you one of Australia's best women in business. The same determination that helped you conquer endometriosis and then get you through not only one cycle, but two cycles of IVF. The determination that needed a 200% effort to not only have our little girl, but also raise her and mother her the way that you have. Thus, this determination is instilled in you. I know no matter how hard the hurdle is or the struggle life presents, you will be by my side throughout thick and thin. Today, you are my soulmate and the woman that God blessed me with. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen and your beauty on the outside reflects that on the inside. Desi, thank you for being my inspiration when I am lost. Thank you for being my focus when I am scattered. Thank you for being so strong when the odds are against us and for fighting to achieve what we both want no matter how hard the obstacle. Thank you for loving my family as your own. Thank you for being the best mother to Zani one could be and for showing her through your actions the woman one day she too can be. Thus, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. You have been my emotion when it was hard to feel. You have been transparent and always loyal. You have always loved me so unconditionally. You have been my light when it has been dark. Desi Batsanilis, I love you, cherish you, and promise to be the best husband and dad I can be. You are my moon, I am your sun, and as God is my witness, I promise to love you to the day that I die.